hey guys so welcome back to my another video this video is going to be a fourth video for building the applications on the spring boot and we're also using the angular on the front end but we are not doing at this point we are just building the uh, api so far in the last video i created the created the all of my service repository services and the controllers and as you can see that uh, i'm getting the my data here and using the uh, get request or uh, or here also i'm getting the exact data in postman if i do here the get request right if i send it is exact same thing that will receive it here as well right here the data okay so now let's go further ahead and let's build a couple of the more uh, uh, methods here uh, we already we only built a get for our task we didn't build the post yet so now let's build the post and let's add some couple of more data okay so now I'm going to back to my controller here and as I show you guys already that uh, I am also enabled this the ZPA repository component scan entity scan which is really needed for spring boot applications otherwise it will not find any of my comp controllers model or possibility or services which i created okay so now i have created these services here called get mappings and basically it will do the uh, uh receive the task now let me create another one called post mapping and basically what it does it it will post map on where on this url on task and whenever you do a post method on talks then this will trigger but whenever you do a get method on this endpoint talks then you will receive you this will this function will trigger and of course it will return me a list okay but for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the talks okay so this is going to be add task okay so using the add talks method here so now it's going to return me a task so now i need to use again the services here okay so i will return the talks and it's going to re return me a services and services on talk services uh let me create the method called save okay save and save will take what the task and i will get the json format here in parameter uh, in the body right request body should be a json parameter and i will receive the uh the task okay so i will just receive a task so once i receive a task i will put it here okay so now i don't have a save uh, functions that's why it's complaining so now let me create the save functions here so i am in services and i now when i click that button it's going to create me our talk services but here what we need to do instead of null we need to call the our talks repository and it has a tax repository is uh, extend our jpa repository which will provide me a bunch of the method which we can use it and we can use a save or we can also use a save and floss uh, the save will uh, save an entity and floss and stands uh, changes instantly but this will just save it but we i could use this one as well so i will use this and i will just save my task okay so now whenever i use this then it's gonna return me uh, it should return me a task okay Okay, now it's uh, yeah, I'm I'm not sure why it's giving an error before, but but the error it, it's not giving me error now. So I'll just remove this comment. I don't even need it. So now I have uh, created my services and it's called the save and loss on repository now, and I will just save my uh the the post mapping as well so now let's see that the post map will work or not so for so far what we have on postman is if i do a get request then we have nothing we have empty array because every time when we save it it's going to remove my table data from the tables why because we specify in application properties that every time whenever it's refreshed then it just create me a brand new tables okay that's why 
so now the another way we could also literally use this one to create it if we want to so now let me create uh the data here yeah i think it's better to create here so go to the raw and just do as a post here well i already have this so i'm going to use this so title is this exactly the same one so i'll just submit it i don't have to do so it's already created me a new data here it's returning this is what it created if i want to create another one i could post again now it's giving me a this is what it created so now if i go for get request change back to the get and i don't even need a body for this and i'll do this now it will give me the array array of two data this is the one i created and this is the another one okay so it looks like our post is working guys so now let's go ahead and let me uh, build the uh, the put mapping on this one okay so let me let me continue on this one and building the put map put mapping on this video as well so now uh, go to the tox controller and the post mapping is here good so now i'll copy this and i'll just use exact same thing but instead of po uh, post let me do a put mapping okay so to update it i need to provide what data need to be updated okay so i will put the data here that is need to be updated and request body I will send as a tax para tax parameter or tax para that would I will give it and to get a path variable I will get that ID what is the ID need to be updated okay long ID okay once I have this I will now what I need to do is I need to verify that this data is exist on our table or not using this ID and to do that I need to create a service here okay I need to call this and I will I will create one uh, method here on talk service which is on class here of course I will create it here uh, you know what uh, yeah I can create it directly like this so public so basically this will return me uh, the boolean and it's gonna tell me that the the talks ID is uh, is exist or not okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a public boolean exist by id okay so now what it does is it will check the long long id and return uh, from tox repository has something called exist by id i'm gonna send the id and it's gonna tell me that is this even available or not and i could use this as a transactional as well but not read only it will do more than that right it will update it this should be read only so once i have this so i could use this here exist by id okay so now so now if it's exist here it's true then we need to update it right we need to update so how we can update we can create an instance of this uh, we need to get the the class first we need to get the the talks which is founded so how we can get it is we can use the talk service again talk service uh if i can write it if i can write it here talk service instance of this and now i need to create another method called get talks by id so whenever we provide the id then it will it need to give me the uh create a method. it need to give me the the task so this is also going to be call oh uh, of course this is also going to be called from repository so i'll just copy this one i will put it here and instead of access by id i'll just add that fine by id here it is so i'll just provide the id here so i need to provide the id so the first one is just check that it exists or not and this function will provide give me the tax rep tax itself okay not find all by id but find by id yep 
not find all but I, it should be and I, I'm pretty sure that this will give me optional here and optional the type is going to be talks okay so I'll use this as transaction read only as well okay so once this is saved so now i could use this function get talks by id so here we're just checking that is this exist so if you say yes so yep if you say yes then now it tell me that okay give me that uh, id and it's going to return me the optional so i need to use the or else throw if if there is a if you found it then it's good but if you didn't found it then what to do i'll tell them okay the entity entity not found exception and i'll just tell them okay uh, the, 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 i'll just tell the requested talks not found right okay so i'll just move to make this a little bigger so this was the code and now once i know that the talks is there then now what we can do is we can set title and we will tell that okay this is the talks parameter para which we will get it so we'll tell that get the title we'll just set the title get the title and do everything uh, set what due date right everything say due date and what get due date and same thing with another one what we have here we have what uh, title we have type right set type and get type and the last one what we have is get description and set description okay so now uh, once it's updated uh, the previous uh, object so the next step is to save it and to save it we're going to call the, again the talk service does save and we will tell them okay this is the talks what we need to save it okay so now it's all been saved perfect so once it's saved now we can return so what we're going to do return is i mean we can return literally the object itself or we can use a response entity to return it so we'll tell the response entity uh, okay it's okay everything's good we done the talks in a body okay here it is else if it's not been found then what we say we say that okay it's, it doesn't found it so we'll tell them a return oh I'll, I'll copy this return the response entity and of course giving me error I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this error later on so the status of response entity is http stat status is not found not not found as soon as status is not found on the body we can send a message okay so what's the message uh, so message is basically we can give any message it doesn't even need it but for i'll create from hash map uh, string and string is my key and value pair message is new has map with the with the value and message is basically now i can put the a message here so this is going to be my message and i can say that okay the the talks what your is id talks all right not found or math something like that and of course it's giving me error because it's a uh, res response was entity should be this one instead of talks now it doesn't give me error so now this should do us the update functionality so i'll just save this and i guess i need to try this so okay i save it so let's go here and try okay so let me make this make bigger and let's see what we have a data so now let's try to get the data first okay now we don't have any data as i mentioned before whenever we save it then it's going to remove the data so now let's let's post some data so i think we have already in here so i'll just post it okay so here it is what we have it so now what we need to do is we will update it okay we'll update the one 
ID one and instead of design title solution I'm gonna do the test and instead of post I need to do put so I'm gonna update this let's see it's gonna give me any error nope it doesn't give me error it just updated it just changed to test so now if I do go to this endpoint and if I do a get now I will see only one data with the test and it's updating perfect update is working which is good so now I think I'm gonna stop this on this part on this video so on the next video I'm gonna do a delete functionality which is going to be uh, delete and of course we need a couple for more data for our chart which I show it in the, in the project before in the part one uh, so we need to also need to find out that how many we need to also count how many data of the talks is uh, the type is to do or the type is pending or the type is done we just need to get a count of how many it is by the group by using the group by right we need to get a specific all the data counted using the group by by the type called to do pending and done we need to write that query as well so i'm gonna do that in the next video and that would be the lastest part i guess for yep for the apis and i'm gonna directly jump back to the angular later on okay and thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys learned something new and please do not forget to like or subscribe my channel and thank you very much for watching bye for now